it's me ex Dentist, and it is time for another restoration video so today we're going to be restoring my chilling out Madison and Barbie dolls because their hair looks like this I chose to do these two first just because they both have these um, permanent headbands so I just want to be really careful with those and also they're both going to be curled so part two of this video will be Noli and um, Chelsea's video and in that video I'll take down the curlers and reveal it to you at the end so it'll kind of be a two-part series but the end result of this video is going to be the just how nice their hair looks at the end before I curl it obviously it'll still look good when it's curled it'll look even better though um so yeah let's get started I hate to do it because they're factory tied but we got to take the ties off so just cutting them they're just sewn in place it makes me so sad but we need to see the extent of the hole damage on the shirt and it's really bad. That's me trying not to breathe that in because when I took the shirt off, it literally exploded into powder and you saw those holes. Stay tuned for another clip to see how that shirt looks later. I tried to fix it and it just completely fell apart and she's covered in white powder. Really don't know what that is. Are they moth holes? Did a moth mess up the garment? Let me know. Um, and then Madison was much easier. I did have to cut the ties, though, which makes me so sad. She was in really good condition, but she just had this, like, you could feel grime on her, and I didn't want that for her. She deserves better. That sound, it's the water boiling, but I just wanted to give an update because that was new and different. So the, the sweater, it was completely covered in like white powder I don't know what it is it's all over Barbie as well I'm thinking that because she still had factory ties these are probably from moths and it's pretty severe um so we're gonna sew this and try to fix it but first I'm gonna don just or, um, Ajax dish soap um after I'm done washing their hair and have all the hot water in the in my little makeshift sink here the reason I film here and not at the actual sink is because the lighting over there is bad. Um, we're going to attempt to sew this back together and we're going to go ahead and soak all of these in the hot water with the Ajax just in case there is some kind of bug situation. I don't know. Um, I wish the seller had adequately disclosed this because I paid like 30 bucks for this doll and it's kind of unacceptable for the shirt to be shredded at this degree. Water's done boiling, so let's get started. I would usually cut this clip and just have it very short, but you guys wanted me to leave these in and have the videos be a little bit longer, so your wish is my command, I suppose. Um, so what I'm doing is first I'm using Ajax um, all over the doll, all over joints. I even got like into the joints. I tried to get under the head a little bit, all over the hair. She felt grimy and there clearly was something going on with that powder. I didn't want to take any chances of anything like that spreading to my other dolls, so just being extra precautious. We boiled whatever that was, so that would have killed it. And then we use some conditioner. What I do is I rub the conditioner on the hair and then I use the brush to make sure it coats every single strand and then I boil. And then after that, I brush through the hair again, condition it again, boil. Um, depending on how bad the hair is, you might have to do it a bunch of times. Like I've had dolls before that I've had to do it five or six times, um, but it's different for every doll. Um, and the different conditions your dolls might be in, you know. Um, and these dolls were in pretty good condition. Like, they still had their factory ties and everything, so there wasn't much that could be wrong with them. But their hair was pretty mangled and matted, and it, it really needed this. And it turned out so much better. And then here's Madison. Her hair was a little bit worse than Barbie's, but hers originally was curlier. Um, the one thing that stinks about doing this is that you're going to lose the curl, I like to leave factory curl in usually, but if I'd even just brushed out this hair with no heat, I would have lost the curls anyway, so I would rather lose the curls and fix the hair. I'm going to be recurling it. Um, I'm actually asking you guys for advice there. These dolls, I believe, have Kineclon hair. I have never curled Kineclon hair before. I do not know how to do it. The only way I've ever successfully made curls happen was with heat, and can't really do that with Kineclon hair. Um, what would y'all do? Is it curlers in boiling water? Like, does that work better than anything else, or should I just leave curlers in? Let me know. I did manage to use my straightening iron on the absolute lowest setting on her and be fine, but I just don't want to risk it with curls and stuff, or curlers. But look at that hair, it turned out so good already. Beautiful, beautiful doll. I really, 
I really love these dolls. I've never done anything like this with any kind of Barbie doll before, so I was completely stunned by the result and how soft the hair got. I'm really happy with it. Um, this clip's almost over. Make sure you do the top and the bottom of the hair because when you boil the top, it's blocking the bottom. Then I put all of the clothes in. Don't put the clothes that are going to be prone to peeling in. I would just hand wash them under cold water. This water in the bin, there was already water in, so it's not boiling water. It was basically warm like it wasn't hot and the, yeah um, i'm like situation over here they're getting restoration soon um but here they are i'm so proud of how they turned out oh my gosh this is their hair it's almost dry it's just it's plastic so it's holding on to some water but i used a straightening iron on the lowest possible setting just to really set in how it is and i think it turned out so good I'm going to attempt to fix her top now, and we're going to put curlers in her hair, and then we're done with part one. Um, and then part two will be taking the curlers out, as well as seeing the others, so I'm excited! They turned out, like, way better than I expected. I've never done, um, I've never done a Barbie restoration like this because I just didn't do boil washes very often, and I didn't really collect very many Barbies, but, like, ooh, they're so good. They look so pretty. I kind of want to restore my childhood dolls now, but these two will be first. To the left side of your screen, the bottom left corner, you will see what the sweater looks like after I tried to sew it. And you see all that gross powder? I really don't know what happened. Anyways, I'm assembling the top. I'll show you the pattern I used at the end. I basically just googled turtleneck pattern and followed it. <laughs> um, I just didn't do sleeves because I don't like sleeves and she didn't have sleeves in the first place anyway. Um, so the steps, like the order you're going to want to go in is you sew on the turtleneck onto the front first and then you sew the sides on and then you sew the, um, the shoulders. Just obviously don't sew the sleeve shut. Um, you can do like one side and the shoulder first and then do the other side and that shoulder first. It doesn't matter. Um, this outfit's also incredibly easy because I used stretchy fabric from some, like a pack of socks that I never ended up wearing because I forgot about it. Um, and it worked really well and I don't even have to like do Velcro or anything. It's just three pieces to make this outfit. It's incredibly easy. I'm happy with it. Just sewing. You know how it goes. Um, one thing, my pattern that I show you, it's a little bit too thick, so you got to take it down and, or take it in. And then also you probably need to do some darts. I didn't, because it's under the overalls anyway, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you wanted to just make a fitted turtleneck, you need to do some darts. Like, look how good this is looking. I've never sewn on camera before. Sorry, I, I was trying to explain to Brad how a sewing machine works because he's always been completely um, enamored with sewing. He thinks it's really fascinating and high skills. It's pretty fun and cool, but once you, like, figure it out, you can sew anything, you know? Um, I've just always been scared of doll clothes because I hate doing tiny hems, and I can't use my serger on doll clothes because it makes um, quarter-inch hems, and that would be way too big for doll clothes, so I would need to buy, like, another serger. And that's me t trying it out. I'm super happy with it, and then I take it in later. So here's how it turned out. I could definitely alter some things. I think there could be darts here to make it better, but for the time being, I think this is perfect. Um, it was a little bit too big, so I tuck it in in the back. I really just, um, like, it, I could take it out if I wanted to. I just kind of sewed a taco there. Um, it's not perfect, and I don't want to hem here because I have a black bobbin in right now, and I don't know where my extra bobbins are, and look how much thread I have left. Photo finish here. Um, but it's much better, and I think the turtleneck, or the, um, the overalls are gonna cover this up nicely. And here's the pattern that I used next to Barbie, if you want a reference. What I do is I just put the doll down, trace her body, and then these need to be a little bit bigger than her body. Because after you've made it, you can always take it down, but taking it, you can't make it bigger. Um, but this is, this is the look. Alright, now let me dress them both back up, because everything's dry. And I'll catch you in a minute. Here they are, all done. They're not perfect, but I'm really happy with them. And I've never done a restoration this extensive before where I have to sew an entire new piece. Usually I'll just replace it with something else, but I wanted to try it. And I'm really happy with how the turtleneck actually turned out. Um, but I prefer the old one, obviously. I really like the colors, so 
hopefully I can find a similar fabric or just replace it. But for now, she has a nice little turtleneck on and it's cute. Um, her headband, also the elastic is worn out, so I need to sew a new elastic on or something or just sew the headband to her head. So that's Barbara. She looks great. And then Miss Madison here is, she turned out way better than Barbie, but she was a lot less work as well. Um, her jacket's still pretty wet, so I'm going to take it off after this, but I wanted it on for this picture or for this part of the video. I want to try to recurl her hair, but she has Kaneko on and I don't want to destroy it. And the only way I know how to curl hair is by putting it in the oven. I'm being, I'm kind of joking. I make like a hair oven. Um, so I don't really know. So if y'all have suggestions on safely curling Kanekalon, uh, let me know. I suppose I can just leave it in hanger, or uh, hangers, in curlers. That was kind of the plan. Just let me know what you think I should do. I want it to be pretty curly like it was originally. Um, obviously even if I didn't boil her hair, those curls would have fallen, so it's better that now it's really, um, good condition hair back to being perfect, but we need to recurl it so that she can go back to normal. Um, so yeah, that's them. I'm really happy about it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!